Good morning. Plan for today is is well, I'm gonna warm up. A little time, a little time pass by. Pack all my stuff up, and then I think I got about that's eh, not too far. It's about nine miles into Prescott. Was, but... so nice. After a couple days, and I've been drinking out of this one. It still has got a little bit of ice in it. And there you go. It's all stuffed into a 20 liter dry bag. I like these. I got one of uh, pretty much every size. Uh, they're pretty nice. All right, now I just gotta brush my teeth, eat some breakfast, do a little bit of uh, morning green, and then I'll be good to good to go. Then I think. Let's go ride electric bikes. wanted me to do throttle only at times. <laughs> Got forced into it with a bent pedal. <laughs> eh, it's a slow motorcycle now. Oh well, uh, maybe they'll maybe I'll get lucky at the bike shop and they'll have have an arm that'll actually go on there. I don't know. Spokes is playing pianos again. Let's tighten it up real quick so I don't play pianos. I'm not too worried about the trueness. <laughs> Discovered there was a couple spokes and my derailleur, since it was bent, the little wire was going into it making music. Ah, no more piano. guys Whew, it's been a it's been a couple days since I've seen the city I'm good have a good day hey a bike lane <laughs> oh wow well Welcome to Prescott, built I think around 1883 if I remember right. Not bad. You bike, you kick butt. I didn't even have to pedal the whole way. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean I broke a lot of things on it, but yeah. Well, that's not the motor's fault. Wow, the thing kicks too fast, guys. Here we're in like a little historical district here. Road. I don't know which road to go on. Yeah. All right, here looks like a 
good place at the courthouse to book a hotel room. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I was actually able to find a derailleur for my bike. A guy at a bike shop called Southwest, ah, Southwest Sounds here in uh, Prescott hooked me up. It was a used one, but he didn't charge me anything for it, so that's cool. Yeah, because these things can be, I don't know, around $70. Another bike check, shop I checked, uh, they didn't have anything to help me, so I just got some missing links from them. So I get a room and uh, take my derailleur off and try to put a new one on it. <laughs> Should be fun. Check in? Yes. Yes. Tenant? Yeah, I rode up from uh, Peoria. I'm sorry, is that a gas powered? No. Oh, it's, no. It's full, full manual? Yeah. Okay. As long as there's no uh, gas going in. That's no, okay. no, no, no G bike. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, she's just, she's just caked in mud. <laughs> it was like a. Because I took the back trails, there was like 50 rivers I had to cross. Uh -huh. Yeah. Was... Uh, I mean, we do. What we would ask if it's covered in mud, not to take it into the room. That's why. That's why I was trying to get a, see if you guys had a hose or something. I could. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you can feel comfortable leaving it outside and you can, like, walk into something. Um, okay. Because we, I mean, I have full 24 footage camera. I have someone here 24 seven. I have cameras all around the property, watching everything and recording. Okay. So if anything was to happen to it, like, you know. uh, I'd, I'd much prefer to bring it in. I'll find somewhere to wash it before. Okay. Yeah, just as long as it's clean. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's about as dirty as I am at this point. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Eric. Uh, no problem. the owner uh, back in 2019 he was pretty nice the guy they have working today uh, I don't know just kind of found his tone a little bit rude usually they're into uh, deal with good service but I don't know tones are funny like that huh hey there I'm Eric Tennant and I'm checking in the days in by Wyndham to clean up here Fortunately, the guy at the desk, I uh, met the owner last year down, or not last year, down in 2019. He was cleaning off the pool area with the hose. I got in and asked him my bike's, you know, real dirty. So I asked him, you know, if I can use a hose, if they got one I can use. He just straight up tells me no. Then proceeds to ask me if I have a gas bike or not, or if it's manual. So I went ahead and just gave him a lie too. And he said, no, it's a manual bike. <laughs> And I hate when people lie. It's just ridiculous. Then I told him what I needed it for, and he's like, oh, well, I don't, you don't want to bring that in the room. You can just leave it out. We got cameras out here. But, yeah, that's the quickest way to get your bike stolen. So my solution to this is I'm sitting here washing it off of my water bottle here. I don't know, man. <laughs> just curious for the Better Bidders Bureau. Why did you cancel me? Doesn't seem like you'd be happy or comfortable here, so we'd rather you be comfortable and happy somewhere else. Also, I do not condone to being recorded, so please get You'll have to contest that with YouTube. Have I'm a nice day. Wow, that little guy was rude. Tremendous <laughs> loot! Booked your reservation through? I would probably call them as well. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna report him to the Bezer Business Bureau. He's going up on YouTube. All right, I finally got a room where somebody who wasn't gonna refuse me service. <laughs> As a white, uh, middle-aged male, I'm not even too sure what to think about that. That was highly rude. I guess I was discriminated as a, as a bike packer. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, really kind of pissed at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to report that bitch in my life. Damn. Unbelievable. Let's check this place out. It's a little bit cheaper. So, um, um, basic amenities. Uh, oh, they definitely could use more bleach on their sheets. Isn't that gross? <sighs> I think this is the Sierra N. Oh, I don't know what that, that is. <laughs> uh, shower looks clean. <laughs> it's better in my tent. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm I'm quite mad at the moment. I've never been refused service by anybody. I don't know. All right, had to go across the street to, uh, I forgot the name of the bike shop, but they're really cool. It's right across the street from the Sierra end, but they let me borrow the one Allen wrench of missing. Just got to get it all done by, well, before 5.30 so I can get it back. 5.20, any time to cross the road. So I'm going to replace the derailleur with the one that's out from Southwest Sound hooked me up with. All right, guys, had me some Papa John's. Forgot to record it before it was one piece, but got a little bit of a belly there. <laughs> That was my food. I've been drinking the root beers out of the soda machine. I don't really want caffeine, so I drink AMW root beer. Had a little um, rat friend in my room. Maintenance came by and they, uh, <laughs> they sealed that with foam. I got after the other go deal with that other hotel. I, I don't even care. They are gonna change rooms and I just told them, I was like, I'm not afraid of rats. I go, I have one as a pet, but I just wanted to let him know. Man, yeah, I haven't seen the little guy, so I must have sealed him off. I got <laughs> I got a, a Snickers on the floor trying to bait him. See if he comes out, so if that Snickers disappears. So I got to open it a little bit to let the smell out. So yeah, I gave up on that derailleur. <laughs> Currently, I have no chain on it. But there's a bike shop across the street, basically. Uh, I'm going to take it over there tomorrow morning. And we're gonna get some shut eye. You guys all have a great day.